Uh, hey guys, Lucas. Um, I got a couple messages and comments asking on how I got my uh, Sony Vegas quality. Well, um, I guess I'm gonna show you here today. First, you wanna load up um your Sony Vegas. I know this works in Sony Vegas seven, eight, and nine. I've tried it in every single one, and it worked fine. Um. First thing I want to cover that I had another question about was this. Um, a lot of people had uh, stuff like um, problems with these little black lines. Um, here's what you need to do to fix it. First go to event pan crop and you'll see preset. Click the little arrow and go down to 16 to 9 widescreen TV aspect ratio and this is optional or anything but if you wanted to you can name it like HD and then click save preset and it'll make it fill up the whole thing though it will come down just a little bit um then we're gonna move on to our actual render settings go up to your to file render as and you can do your file name as whatever And then go down to Windows Video 9. Uh, .wmv. Then go over to Template. And you should see it on Default. Uh, go to Custom. Over here on the side. Now for rendering. Now click Project. For, uh, and name this like. YouTube Render. And that's fine. Now Video Rendering Quality. Make sure that is on Best. Now go over to Audio. Click, make sure the include audio is ticked. Click mode, CBR, format, Windows Media Audio 9.2. And this part is very important. The attributes, um, go down to 192 kbps, comma, 44 kgs, comma, stereo AV CBR. Make sure it's on that and that will make sure your audio doesn't sound terrible. Go over to the video tab now. Go to mode. CBR, make sure it's that. Format Windows Media Video 9. If you don't have Video 9, make sure you have the latest Windows Media Video Player or whatever. Now, this part you get to decide. On image size, say you want HD. Like, it when you hit the HD button, it brings up the huge box. Click High Definition. If you don't want that, go down to Custom and it's 960 actually let me make sure I have that right yeah go down to custom 960 by 540 and that's your dimensions and then go over to uh, pixel aspect ratio make sure that's on 1.0 by default now frame rate this part's important go to frame rate 29.970 NTSC and then uh, seconds per keyframe 5 Override default compression buffer seconds. Make sure that's on 8 and your video smoothness is set up to 100. Now on bitrate, you'd only need this one checked. Uncheck every other one and don't mess with any of these settings. Only uh, select this one and put it on 6. Then click OK. And then you should just have your uh, render settings. And if you saved it correctly, you can just select your YouTube render template every time. And there you go. Uh, enjoy. When you render it, you can upload it to YouTube. And depending on what you have, you'll get high quality and or HD. My next video will be Pinnacle Studio settings for capturing. Thank you. Bye.